Okay, so in this video, uh, so ang gagawin naman natin is we're going to identify if yung sequence ba is an example ng finite sequence, so finite, o kaya naman infinite sequence. Okay, so but before that, identify muna natin ano ba yung finite sequence, ano ba yung infinite sequence. Now, so when we are talking about finite sequence, so yung sequence na nabanggit dyan ay may last term. Okay, so ano ba yung term? So, for example, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so yung 1 dito is tinutukoy natin na first term. Ito yung tinutukoy natin na first term. Ito yung second term. Ito yung third term. Ito yung fourth term. Ito yung fifth term. Okay, so fifth term or the last term. Now, so if we're going to look at this sequence, so meron tayong first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and yung fifth term, yun yung last term natin. So if we're going to look at it, uh, may last term ba kayo na nakita? Yes, meron. So which is 5. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung sequence na to is an example ng finite sequence. Now, so when we are talking about infinite sequence naman, so ito naman yung sequence na walang last term, or hindi natin ma-identify ano ba yung pinaka-last term niya. So, meron ba nun? Yes, possible. For example, meron ako ditong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So, if we're going to look at it, the same sequence, di ba? Ano yung pinagkaiba nila? Meron tayong ellipsis dito na tinatawag. Yes, that is what we called ellipsis, yung three dots na yan. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So, meaning to say, continuous, dire-direcho. So, if we're going to look at it, ito yung first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, but this time, hindi natin alam kung saan siya matatapos. So, hindi natin ma-identify ano ba yung last term niya. So, kapag hindi natin ma-identify yung last term niya, then that is identified as infinite sequence. So, ganun lang yung pinagkaiba nilang dilawa. Now, so let us try to identify these three sequences. <clears throat> so, let's have the first one. So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Now, alam ba natin kung ano yung last term? Yes, ang last term is 10. So, since present yung last term sa sequence na to, then... This is an example of finite sequence. Okay? So, number 2. So, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. Now, so in this case, kung makikita natin, nakalagay na naman dyan si and so on or yung ellipsis. So, hindi natin alam kung ano yung last term niya. Then, we can identify this sequence is an example of infinite sequence. Third, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, up to 70. So, kung titignan natin yung number 3, may ellipsis. Yes, may ellipsis. Pero, present ba yung last term? Yes, hanggang 70 lang natin siya. So, possible na mag, uh, maggawa tayo or magsulat tayo ng ganitong sequence kapag sobrang dami ng elements. Okay? So, as long as we know the pattern, pwede na natin siyang i-represent yung mga num uh, numbers on the middle. Pwede na natin siyang i-represent as ellipsis. Tapos, ilagay natin yung last term. So, balik tayo, going back. So, since dito sa number 3, available yung last term natin, which is 70. Alam natin kung ano yung last term, 70. Then, papasok pa rin siya sa finite sequence. 